In this video, we will learn how to read the section to manage errors in Drupal. You can see that we can easily manage errors in Drupal by reaching the configuration, then the logging and error section. So now we will see how we can reach it. Go to configuration. Here you can see the development section is visible, submenu. Under that, you can see login and error section is visible. Click on it. Here we will see that how we can change the setting for error messages. Now you can see the first section is error message to display. If you want the error messages to be visible, you can select any option here. Like if you only want errors and warning, you can select the second option. If you want all messages, you can select the third one. And if you want the messages with backtrace information, you can easily select the last option. But it is recommended that if you are working on a production environment, you should select none. Because if a user is using it, he shouldn't know that what error is visible. Here you can see below data with log messages to keep. You can keep it as default, which is 1000, or you can change it. This means that if there is an error on your website and you are the admin and you want to resolve the error, you will first into the look into the log messages and it should include around 1000 messages because it is a default so we won't change it. After doing the changes, you just have to click on save configuration and that's it. So in this video, we learned how we can reach the error messages section, the logging section and how we can change it according to our needs. Thank you for watching.